Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the best ways to go ahead and get bottle caps on a Destiny trip. Let's get right into this. So, if y'all don't already know, in the previous update, they went ahead and added brand new bottle caps that you can get, and there are a few ways to get them. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the game, and I'll go ahead and show all the free ways to go ahead and get bottle caps. So, once we're in the game, what we want to do is there are two different ways. The first way that we can do it is just go ahead and drive straight over to one of these shops and just go ahead and sell these stuff in the shop. Or the second way, we can go ahead and fill up the trailer with absolutely everything, and then we can go ahead and sell it like that. So we'll go ahead and do the trailer method first. Also, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you all a way to actually steal stuff from these shops as well, without getting obliterated by the turrets and dying. Because you will probably want to save up your bottle caps, because in the next update, they are actually adding something that you would actually want to go ahead and save up your bottle caps for. So first off, what we're doing is we're just building a car. By the way, you can use any car, because we're mainly just using this trailer right here, so you can use absolutely any any car it does not matter at all you can use this car right here the van or any of these cars you just can't use the ATV because the ATV doesn't have a hook on the back where you can go ahead and attach the trailer but other than that you can go ahead and use any car and it doesn't matter at all we're just using this one because it looks pretty cool but anyway once we have everything attached including the trailer we now want to go ahead and drive over to a building so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill our trailer with as many things as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and sell them you can also go ahead and collect these stuff from spawn if you want but the stuff has spawn is too scattered around so it's just really not worth it. So we're mainly looking for a double garage or some other building where all this stuff is very compacted together. Also, by the way, if y'all haven't already, please make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button because we're actually getting pretty close to 75,000 subscribers. So if you could go ahead and smash that subscribe button, that'll be much appreciated. We now went ahead and found a building. So this building right here is actually pretty compacted with stuff. And anyway, what you want to do is you want to pull up your trailer over to the side. And as you can see, this building is absolutely packed with stuff. Also, by the way, you are able to find multiple caps on the ground such as this one right here that went ahead and gave us one bottle cap but anyway what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab all these small things and then toss it in the trailer we want to go ahead and collect these small things because if you collect too many big things then that will go ahead and fill up the trailer way too fast but as you can see this place is packed with things so we want to go ahead and grab every single small thing toss it in the trailer and then we'll go ahead and select it also by the way once again here are more bottle caps that we did find on the ground a group of five which is pretty crazy and then a singular bottle cap right there but also, once again, we're pretty much just grabbing everything, tossing it into the trunk, and then we're just gonna go ahead and sell it at our shop. We now went ahead and filled up our trunk with tons of stuff. So as you see, we have all these small stuff in our trunk right here. And also, there's still a tons left in the building. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this though, because it is just for a video. But if we were doing this, then we would probably go ahead and collect all these small things in the building. And now, since we have a full trailer, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and drive over to a shop. And once we're at a shop, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull up next to it. We want our trailer to be very close to the door just so it makes it easier and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get and drag everything from our trailer onto the cell pile right here and we're pretty much just gonna do that with every item also by the way some items are worth more such as this traffic cone which is worth three so you can go ahead and test around with this and see which items are worth the most we have this traffic cone just worth three most things are worth one though such as this vase right here if you go ahead and put that on as you can see it's just worth one but things such as pistols and rubber ducks are actually worth more so if you find any pistols make sure to go ahead and toss those on there because those are actually worth five each we now went ahead and tossed all of our stuff on the sell pile so as you can see we have 30 bullet caps worth and now all we have to do is go ahead and flip the lever and sell it also, by the way, sometimes you do have to flip the lever more than once because right here I actually only dropped two bottle caps. But if you go ahead and flip it more, then it should go ahead and drop a lot more. So let's go ahead and flip it again. So there we go. Two more bottle caps. Not very good. Let's go ahead and flip it again because I think all these stuff is actually stuck on the inside. And we got four bottle caps right there. Not really too good. But now let's go ahead and flip it again. And there we go. Look at all those bottle caps. That is a lot of bottle caps there. So it looks like most of them just got stuck at the bottom. And that's why it took a while for all these bottle caps to go ahead and spawn. Also, by the way, if you're pretty much done with the run, what you can do is you can actually toss this stuff in the shop onto the cell pile. This is only if you're completely done with the run. Such as I'm pretty much done. I'm not planning on going any farther. So we can go ahead and grab these shop items. And we can go ahead and toss it on the cell pile. You only want to do this if you are planning on dying. Because the turrets will start shooting at you once you go ahead and sell them. But we can just go ahead and toss as many things on here as possible. So we now tossed everything we needed so let's go ahead and sell it and look at all those ball caps that is a lot of ball caps and there we go so you do gotta do it fast before the turrets do go ahead and kill you as they did right there but that is a pretty quick way to do it if you are planning on dying so that's what i did and we just got a quick like 20 ball caps right there just from selling these stuff that's already in the shop but there is actually a way to steal stuff from the shop so what we want to do is we do want to go ahead and head inside the building and we want to go ahead and grab these wood
wooden planks right here. So go ahead and grab the ones on the roof because these are the longest ones. So we need to go ahead and take this. So what we want to do, let's just go ahead and attach it to the roof of the car. And now once we have this, we want to go ahead and drive up to a shop. We now went ahead and found a shop. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take the trailer off. So if you are planning on stealing stuff, make sure to not bring the trailer. And what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and align the back of the truck with the entrance of the building. Just like this right here. So it is pretty close to the building. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab this plank and we want to attach it to the back of the car. We want it to be attached to the car, but we also want one end of the plank to go ahead and be inside the building. So we can go ahead and attach things to it. So we now have one end of the plank attached to the car and one end inside the building. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab all the stuff inside the building and we actually want to go ahead and attach it to the plank. Just like this right here. So let's go ahead and grab the AK, attach it to the plank, and we're just going to go ahead and grab as many things as possible. Also, by the way, this isn't really 100% perfect because the turrets do start shooting at you, but by doing this, you're already in the car, meaning that the turrets actually can't kill you. And you can easily go ahead and drive away. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and attach as many things as possible. And then after you attach pretty much everything you want, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hop back into the car. So we're now in the car, so let's go ahead and drive away. And there we go. The turrets are shooting at us. And it looks like it actually didn't work this time because I did misplace the plank because the plank is like too much at an angle. So it is getting caught on like those pillars right there. So we did kind of mess up with this one. But if you go ahead and position it correctly, then it should work. But after you go ahead and do it once, then it is easy the rest of the times. But anyway, those are the best ways to go ahead and get the brand new bottle caps on a dusty trip though. Also, by the way, once again, you will probably want to save up your bottle caps for the next update. And if you find a shop, then probably just go ahead and use the stealing method just while you go ahead and save up tons of bottle caps. But anyway, that's the best way to get bottle caps on a dusty trip though. So that's going to be all for this video. So make sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.